Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a structural design problem that involves a column design using load and resistance factor design method based on a structural design DAO found on the App Store. Design a reinforced concrete square column of 20 inches by 20 inches using load and resistance factor design that carries a biaxial bending load with axial dead load of 150 kips and axial live load of 140 kips. Moment dead load at x axis of 50 foot kips and moment live load at x axis of 45 foot kips. Moment dead load at y axis of 100 foot kips and moment live load at y axis of 90 foot kips. Design criteria as follows Strength of concrete 5000 psi, vertical bars 1 inch diameter grade 60, lateral tie bars 38 inch diameter grade 60, bar configuration 4 bars per face. The column carries a biaxial bending load with axial dead load of 150 kips and axial live load of 140 kips and moment dead load at x axis of 50 foot kips, moment live load at x axis of 45 foot kips and moment dead load at y axis of 100 foot kips, moment live load at y axis of 90 foot kips. Given axial dead load equals 150 kips and axial live load equals 140 kips, the factored axial load is 404 kips. Given moment dead load at x axis equals 50 foot kips and moment live load at x axis equals 45 foot kips, the factored moment at x axis is 132 foot kips with eccentricity of 3.92 inches. Given moment dead load at y axis equals 100 foot kips and moment live load at y axis equals 90 foot kips, the factored moment at y axis is 264 foot kips with eccentricity of 7.84 inches. Enumerate input parameters required. Column name, C8, floor designation, ground to second, square shape, tight column, side of column, 20 inches, steel covering, 2.5 inches, unsupported height, 10 feet, 6 inches, bar configuration, 4 bars per face, vertical bars, 1 inch diameter at grade 60, lateral tie bars, 38 inch diameter at grade 60, strength of concrete 5000 psi, factored axial load 404 kips, factored moment at x axis 132 foot kips with ex equals 3.92 inches, and factored moment at y axis 264 foot kips with ey equals 7.84 inches. Given 12 pieces of 1 inch diameter vertical bars, the area of steel is 9.48 square inches, with steel ratio of 2.4%, and spacing between bars is 5 inches, for 4 inches clear spacing. To get the nominal load at EX equals 3.92 inches, let neutral axis C equals 16.45 inches, and depth of stress block A equals 13.16 inches. Given column side of 20 inches, and steel covering of 2.5 inches, apply the computations below to get the following distances and force type of each layers of bars. D sub 1 equals 2.5 inches, compression. D sub 2 equals 7.5 inches, compression. D sub 3 equals 12.5 inches, compression. D sub 4 equals 17.5 inches, tension. Follow the given computations for stresses and forces of each layer. Stress at D sub 1 is 60 KSI and compressive force at 189.6 kips. Stress at D sub 2 is 47.33 KSI and compressive force at 74.78 kips. Stress at D sub 3 is 20.89 KSI and compressive force at 33.01 kips. Stress at D sub 4 is 5.55 KSI and tensile force at 17.54 kips. Given FC prime equals 5 KSI and stress block at 13.16 inches by 20 inches, the force of compression block is 1118.6 kips. By summing up all the forces, the nominal axial load at y axis is 1398.45 kips. Follow the computations below for final check of eccentricity at EX equals 3.92 inches. To get the nominal load at EY equals 7.84 inches, 
Let neutral axis C equals 11.58 inches and depth of stress block A equals 9.26 inches. Given column side of 20 inches and steel covering of 2.5 inches, apply the computations below to get the following distances and force type of each layers of bars. D sub 1 equals 2.5 inches, compression. D sub 2 equals 7.5 inches, compression. D sub 3 equals 12.5 inches, tension. D sub 4 equals 17.5 inches, tension. Follow the given computations for stresses and forces of each layer. Stress at D sub 1 is 60 KSI and compressive force at 189.6 kips. Stress at D sub 2 is 30.65 KSI and compressive force at 48.43 kips. Stress at D sub 3 is 6.91 KSI and tensile force at 10.92 kips. Stress at D sub 4 is 44.48 KSI and tensile force at 140.56 kips. Given FC prime equals 5 KSI and stress block at 9.26 inches by 20 inches, the force of compression block is 787.1 kips. By summing up all the forces, the nominal axial load at x-axis is 873.65 kips. Follow the computations below for final check of eccentricity at EY equals 7.84 inches. The nominal axial load at E equals 0 is 2,268.8 kips. By using a reciprocal load method, the nominal load is 704.75 kips. Check for adequacy. The nominal design actual load of 621.54 kips is less than the actual actual load capacity of 704.75 kips. Follow the given computations for lateral ties. Design recommendation as follows. FC prime equals 5000 psi, FY equals 60000 psi, column size is 20 inches by 20 inches by 10 feet 6 inches, vertical bars of grade 60, 12 pieces 1 inch diameter bar, lateral ties of grade 60, 3 8 inch diameter bar, 3 sets spacing, 6 at 4 inches, 4 at 6 inches, rest at 10 inches. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.